Hey everybody, I am Mike Falco. Um, nice to see all of you. Uh, a little bit of background on myself. So I have been using Apollo.io for I think around six years now. It's a great tool. Um, they've grown a ton, they've been developing and releasing amazing features. And I just wanted to put together this video as a kind of introduction as to um, how you would begin the onboarding process with Apollo, just from my experience. So a couple of things that I think are really important to note here when you first log in, um, you'll see probably the um, onboarding doc here, which to me has never been you know the most helpful. I think the most important thing to do first here would be setting up your uh, account. Right. So what you want to do is you first want to come over to the manage plan. You want to make sure that all of your um, teammates are invited to your to your license. Right. So we're going to come under to users. Obviously, if you have uh, seats available, you'll be able to just add people very simply with an email address. If not, you'll have to uh, go through the purchase process, but you will be able to do that right here, actually. So let's say that we have no seats left and I put in, you know, Mike.Falco at blah. Dot com, um, you'll be able to just say, hey, send the invites and bill me uh, on my next monthly. So, A, that's nice. B, let's talk about what we need to do next, right? So that would be setting up our inboxes. So I think the first thing that's really important to notice here is the sending limits of these inboxes. So you're going to come over to our um, you know, mailboxes here. You're going to see the two different mailboxes set up. As of right now within Apollo, you can set up two mailboxes per license. And I want to just point out here to everybody the importance of this, right? The daily sending limit, the maximum number of emails to send per hour, and the minimum delay between emails. Now, let's walk through each of these slowly because they're very, very important. So the daily 24-hour sending limit is what it sounds like, but it's going to be on a rolling basis, right? So if you have emails that are going out, let's say today at 9 o'clock a.m., right? but you have another sequence that's getting ready to launch tomorrow for eight o'clock AM. Those emails are not going to send out if you've hit your 50 emails uh, per day threshold until that starts clearing at a 24 hour clip, right? So uh, next piece here is the maximum number of emails to send per hour. This is a very, very important uh, part of, of doing outreach with Apollo. So this is called throttling and the maximum number of emails to send per hour basically says, hey, um, I don't want to bum rush my prospects or the Google servers or you know what they're looking for in terms of spam. I want to space out my outreach throughout the day, right? Now, the last piece here I think is the most important that people don't generally uh, pay attention to. Uh, minimum delay between emails and seconds, right? So let's just say that this was set at zero, right? What happens here if we're allowed to send a minimum, a maximum of 30 emails per hour, right? At... <clears throat> Let's say 101 p.m., right? We will send out 30 emails in a matter of seconds, right? This will kill your deliverability on the email server side. So you kind of counteract the two, right? Between the minimum delay between emails and seconds and the maximum number of emails to send per hour. So what does this setup look like, right? So we have our 50 per day on the, on the uh, daily, right? We have our 30 per hour on the... Um, volume and we have our delay of 90 seconds on the minimum side, right? So this means that let's just assume we start right now, right? We're going to send an email out in the first minute here. We're going to wait 90 seconds until the next email is sent and we can only send out 30 emails per hour here, right? So our emails will take 45 minutes to send, right? Because we're sending one every 90 seconds with a maximum of 30 and then the next hour, right? we're going to have our remaining 20 and they're going to send one on the first minute, wait 90 seconds, and then continue until that 50 per day is complete. Now this will space out your emails, right? And will optimize your deliverability settings. If you don't do all of these in conjunction together, A, a low daily volume send, uh, B, a low maximum hourly send, and C, a minimum delay between emails and seconds, you're going to be in big trouble here in terms of deliverability. So make sure you take note of that and uh, good luck.